All right, here's a barrel with a hash mark. So I'm gonna open it. Going to insert the wine thief. It's a glass tube with a hole at both ends, like a big straw. So the wine fills the wine thief. And then by plugging one of the holes, you prevent the wine from falling out everywhere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I need to place this camera somehow. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Don't need to fill the entire wine thief. No, I wouldn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to be that ambitious in the morning. Dad's moving some pipes to get ready to transfer the wine that we're currently spot checking to a cube where it'll be homogenized. If you don't do that and you bottle straight from barrels, not only would it be very inconvenient during the bottling process, because you'd have to switch barrels constantly, but it would be a, a totally heterogeneous wine where the first 300 bottles would taste one way and then the next 300 would taste like the next barrel. Um, so you want to mix all the barrels up first. Wine's good. <laughs> now I'm still on the ground for this barrel, which so I can conveniently dump wine and spit and not pour or not drink everything. When we get to the higher row barrels, that gets harder and harder because it's hard to manipulate, like the wine thief and a glass and a spit bucket. But there are enough barrels today that might justify finding a system. All right, and uh, now that I've tasted the barrel, I can do a little mark to know that I've done this one. Now only like 25 more to go. <laughs>